blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure ipv6 plus svi intervillan routing okay so svi is intervillan routing using multi-layer switch so as you can remember in the previous video we learned how to configure ipv6 plus router on a stick intervillan routing so let's do for SVI or switch virtual interface using multi layer switch. Okay, all right. So I'll open our Google uh, spreadsheet. I'll let you know that we are at number two, I mean number 17, part two. Okay, so without any further ado, I'll open our notepad to let the step that, that we're going to follow to achieve the objectives. All right, so I'll uh, draw the necessary topology, decorate, and comment. All right, so as you can see on this topology, I have just one multi-layer switch, which is 3650 24 port switch. And uh, I have three departments, uh, HR, Finance, and IT. So the first two ports, Gig01, Gig101, Gig and Gig102 belongs to HR110. Gig103 and Gig104 belongs to finance villain 20 and finally gig gig um gig 106 and gig 105 belongs to it villain 30 right all right so basically what we're going to do is to configure this much layer switch for interval routing and we're going to use ipv6 so that the computers in this network can communicate via ipv6 rather than ipv4 right all right so when i go back to a notepad create villains name them and assign to ports right so as i've uh, explained these ports belong to their unique villain ids okay all right so we click on this multi switch and the first thing we do Remember, this is a 3650-24 port switch, so it doesn't have power supply. Just make sure you drag the sup supply and put it there. Wait for around 10 seconds, and we click on the CLI so that you can start configuring. As you can see, it's still booting. All right, so we can start configuring VLANs and assign them assign them to ports. Okay. All right. So just say no. I enable uh, config T. So, for interface gig 101 and gig 102, VLAN 10, gig 103 and 4, VLAN 20, 5 and 6, VLAN 30. Did very fast at time. The first thing we create VLANs, VLAN 10, we name as HR. So, let's assign the VLANs to ports. So, as you said, interface range gig, gig 1 slash. 0 slash 1 to 2 okay switch port mode access okay then switch port access vlan 10 okay exit then gig 101 gig 103 to 4 vlan 20 3 to 4 and do right so guys we're done with creating naming and assigning vlans so the next step is to configure IPv6 addresses on the to the SVS and include both link local and GUA global unicast address. So remember, uh, interval routing using multi-layer switch is always been creating SVIs or switch virtual interface. So let's create switch virtual interface. So how do we create switch virtual interfaces? You create based on the VLANs that we created. Remember, we created VLAN 10. So, SVI for VLAN 10 will be interface VLAN 10. Okay? So, this is SVI that represents VLAN 10. So, let's assign IPv6 address on this interface. So, we just say IPv6 add to be address to be uh the first one the first one let's assign link local which is a uh, fair 80 double colon one 
Then we specify that this is link local address. Now let's assign GUA. So IPv6, IPv6 address uh two two zero one colon uh huh colon a b c d colon uh huh colon a eight double colon one slash sixty four this is a network to the first IP address let's take that one okay and hit enter all right then we just say exit then now let's create another SVI for VLAN 20 so we just say it as VLAN 20 okay and we assign it link local address first address first the link local address here address here is fair 80 colon double colon 2 sorry not that one fair 80 double colon 2 okay then the global unicast address you can see 201 a colon uh, abcd colon b8 double colon slash 64 so what i'm gonna do i'm going to make it it was b8 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 and let's take the first one double colon one okay and hit enter exit and finally let's create let's wait for million 30 and the link local address will be fair double colon for 80 double colon three okay then the gua will be uh -huh, 201 abcd colon c8 so we just send this to c8 exit and do that guys we've done everything that is required on this much layer switch okay so what we need to do is to uh configure ipv6 on the computers on the LAN. so for example i'll just copy this address i'll just copy this network address i'll copy the network address and go to each pc on hr department and configure ipv6 address so we just go here i demonstrate with one and i do it very very fast on the other step time so a double colon let it take uh, dot five okay then here is slash 64 you remember then the default gateway you remember it was for the IP, ipv6 address of svi that we created it was uh -huh, that one double colon one you remember very very well so i do the same for this one save time all right so i've done for this department let's do for this department what i do i just copy this ipv6 address come to this pc and i uh, do it very very fast save time i paste here and let this one take dot five so that so the other one take dot i mean colon six and that, that there is a uh, slash 64 then uh default gateway you can remember it was 21 abcd uh colon db d i mean b8 co uh, double colon one okay all right so i do for this one to save time and this one to save time also right all right so i've done ipv6 configuration on all the computers so what i'm gonna do is to test communication outside the LAN so for example I'll just copy a pv6 address of this computer okay which is c80 c8 that one then I come to this computer any of these computers and try to ping and I just write ping that one oops I can see we are getting error so oh oh okay okay I remembered what we didn't do we didn't enable IPv6 global routing on this device that's very very important it's always the first step always make sure you enable IPv6 global forwarding or routing on the device first so sorry 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 I just do it very very fast so if I can just say uh, it's just a simple command IPv6 uh, IPv6 unicast routing do Good. then we go back to the same device and try to ping again so you see we just made a simple mistake that we just corrected because we didn't enable ipv6 global forwarding or routing okay on the device so let's take another ipv6 address here which is db8 or db6 now so let's try to ping here was uh b8 
we have c8 now let's ping b8 okay you can see all are successful so just make sure you avoid that simple mistake uh what about a8 was it a801 yes a8 you can see everything is successful i pinged how many networks three networks dba i mean b8 a8 and finally c8 from pc7 which is in vlan 10 so basically guys i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure ipv6 plus in the vlan routing using svi method so i've just marked that section as done when you meet next let's start routing protocols for ipv6 right before we move to vlan and voip and finally to the firewall concepts thank you so much guys please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and drop a comment below i appreciate bye